Quite a different scene in downtown Sacramento this weekend. Military vehicles, armed National Guardsmen and police deployed throughout the city. Law enforcement preparing for potential protests and violence in the days leading up to the inauguration. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live at the state capitol with any signs of confrontation with law enforcement so far in downtown today. Hey, Valina. Hi, Steve. And there's been no, it's been none. It's been pretty quiet here all throughout the day. And the warm weather bringing a lot of people out here today, walking amongst those National Guardsmen. You can see security there in the Capitol Rose Garden. And we have seen Guardsmen through all the area, including at every corner in downtown. And this is just a snapshot of the 1,000 California National Guardsmen deployed around the city. Tanks and troops are scattered around the area to protect government buildings. Aside from the Capitol, the federal courthouse, Sacramento County Jail, City Hall, the State Department of Education, and the California Department of Public Health are all being surrounded by a heavy military and police presence. Now, it's a sobering reality for some residents who are in the area today. It's really sad that we have to see it, but I'm happy to see it. It's good to know that presence is around and they're somewhere close and they're trying to offset any type of real um, tragic situations occurring. We started to see a National Guard presence Saturday. It's just the start of several days of 24-hour operations and mutual aid support requested by the governor in the wake of potential violence in the days leading up to the inauguration. Now, a protest was scheduled for today, but was canceled after their permit was denied. As a part of security measures, some streets around the area are closed to traffic. There's also no parking around the area of the Capitol through the 20th. Again, a lot of people out here, but nothing, no violence to report, but a heavy, heavy um, police presence here tonight. Yes, yeah, certainly a different scene than we're used to seeing. Valina Jones, thank you for that live report.